This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verses 1 and 2. And it reads, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Heavenly Father for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Heavenly Father, but not according to knowledge. Call Haloyim la Abanawa Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashiach Yahweh Bahasham, or Chaha Kodash. All right, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that rule very well and teach very well and oversee the tabernacle of David. Uh, peace and sight. Uh, quick shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the Kazak, whom I teach under here in Greenwood, South Carolina. And uh, finally, a quick shout out to you, sincere Akiom and Akwa, which is also Hebrew for you, brothers and sisters, who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and trembling towards your salvation. All right, y'all like to say Shalom. It's the Ach Alayah, which is also Hebrew for the brother Elijah. And I'm here with a quick exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai in these last days for the sincere, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And uh, as you see by the title, uh, the topic of this video being zeal, not according to knowledge, right? Which clearly, as you can hear and see, uh, that comes from the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. Uh, but so I can give me, give me one second. Oh. What's up? Were you trying to say something? Yeah, I had to redo it in the middle of it. Um, Is it my phone right died. Now? Yeah, my phone died and deleted the whole video. Dang. So uh, I'm redoing it now. Yeah. I was just about to say. Well, we'll, well, I'll talk to you in the whole camp. Kind of, yeah, oh, it's not uh, It's not going to be a uh, long video, but I'm going to come in there. All right. Uh, so lucky. So lucky. Um, matter of fact. Nah, I'm not, I'm not. I was going to start the video over, but it, it don't matter. It's like, uh, uh, we're just going to read the scriptures again. But yeah, as you can see by the title. Uh, zeal not a according to knowledge. Matter of fact, real quickly, before I go back to the scripture, I'll just give you guys a little info on why I chose uh, this topic. Um, I was at my job uh, that I kind of started not too long ago, and one of the employees, uh, Jake, uh, he came up to me, and uh, he asked me, he was like, hey, man, what's your name? And, and I said, you know, Eli or Elijah. And uh, he said, oh, you got a biblical name. And I said, that's exactly right. Straight out the scriptures, right? And he said, yeah, uh, I got a biblical name too. And uh, I'll just tell you his name. That, that'll be the only thing I give because I'm not going to put on Jake business out like that. But uh, actually, I'm, I'm not going to get a name. He, it, his name was uh, one of the biblical prophet names. And I said, oh, I replied back and I said, Oh, that brother was a was a, a mighty prophet uh, in the scriptures. And, well, I didn't literally say mighty. <laughs> I said what I literally said was, "Oh, oh, he went crazy. Oh, he went hard. Oh, he went something so, so along those lines, man." But the whole point being that he was a, a great prophet of the Lord, and um, that prompted Jake to start giving me details about his life and his journey with the Bible. And the Heavenly Father and, and where he is at now. He told me that he was once in Christianity. And um, he was raised up in Christianity by his family. Obviously, like most Israelites. Um, then he fell or left Christianity and went back to the streets. This, these are his words, not mine. <laughs> he said he left uh, the church, Christianity church and went back to the streets. Right? And now... Well, or a few years ago, a couple years ago, and even still to this day, uh, he's back in Christianity, and he's now a pastor, or at least he speaks at churches. That those were his words. So he didn't flat out come out and say I'm a pastor. Actually, he may he may have. So I'm just gonna call him a pastor for now, because the point can still be made, um, whether he's a pastor or not. Uh, he said he's also uh, currently in school. And he's getting his degree, and it's not a prophecy, but it's like 
Esau's version, which Esau is the biblical name for the so-called white man. It's his version of getting deep into the scriptures and, and understanding the hidden dark mysteries and uh, hard speeches and dark sayings and the parables, right? All the secrets of the scriptures. He says he's currently in cemetery school, which is what the elder apostles agree in mass like to call it, which is a beautiful name to the spirit. But so, uh, he's currently enrolled in cemetery school as well. So I say all that to basically say um, that, for one, uh, Jake is gone. <laughs> the Israelites are still out here serving and worshiping false gods and false idols, for one, for number one. But for two, um, matter of fact, let's read it because th this is the point. Uh, Romans 10 and 2 says, For I bear them record, who is them the Israelites, right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Their true biblical name is Israel, or the Israelites, the sons of Israel, the children of Israel. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but not according to knowledge, right? And I'm going to kind of stand right here. I'm doing this walk and talk, but it's kind of getting dark. I want to make sure y'all can see me. Uh, it's not going to be a long video, but still going to make sure y'all can see me. Kind of there. Um, but yeah, this is this scripture beautifully uh explains the scenario or the situation that i just described that i i encountered at my job man you literally have israelites out here that have a zeal and a desire to serve and to seek and to worship the heavenly father yahweh by hashem yahweh shot yet it's not according to knowledge they don't actually have the true instructions they don't have the true wisdom and the true knowledge uh that gives them the ability to actually serve you, how about Shemiel Shai in spirit and in truth, in sincerity, even, you know. Matter of fact, this is uh, the definition of the word zeal. Uh, it says great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective, right? So you're, you're going hard, you're going strong. Think about how people go in sports, how serious you have to be and determined you have to be in sports, especially to win, you know. That that basically is is a a good visualization of the word zeal, right? Certain uh, similar words to the word zeal is passion. It says committedness, fervor, uh, devotion, enthusiasm, eagerness, keenness, appetite. Ooh, appetite is a good one, right? Because when you're hungry, when you have an appetite, you desire something earnestly. Seriously, I'm hungry. I need to eat. You know, that's the only thing you think about when you're hungry is food. That's the same uh, way the Israelites who are truly elected, chosen through the spirit. That's the same way they desire the true wisdom, knowledge and understanding and the ordinances and ways of Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai. They just can't. They got to have it. You know, fuck all the extra shit. We want Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the spirit of the chosen man of the elect. Uh, with that being said, let me continue on. Like I said, it's not gonna be a long video. Let's jump to Matthew chapter 15 and verse 7. Once again, hitting the point in the fact that the Israelites have a zeal, a desire to find and to know about Yahweh Bashim Yashad, the Heavenly Father and His Son, and their ways, yet it's not according to knowledge. Everything that they've been given or have received is not the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yashad. It's a fabricated, falsified form of it, man. It's deceit and lies. But this is Matthew 15 and 7. It says, ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right? Let's read that again. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth. Yeah, what people do that? The Israelites, how do they do it? Think about the Christianity church. Think about a Sunday morning in a Christianity church. What are they in there saying and doing? Saying, praise God, praise God. God loves us. He saved us. His son died for us. The kingdom of heaven, that's for us. All these things, right? The Lord said that this people draw nigh unto him, them with their mouth. Oh, we repent. Oh, we love God. Oh, we're going we're gonna to be righteous. Oh, we are the righteous. You know, this, that, and the third. Yeah? But the Lord says, and they honor me, they, uh, and honoreth 
and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. It's far from the Heavenly Father, man. They have no true understanding of his ways, nor of his righteousness, right? They have none understanding, no knowledge even, man. Not even with the Bible sitting in their hands, they have not been given the Holy Spirit to understand it, you know? It says in verse 9, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. But in vain they do worship me. The Lord Yahweh Shemar Shah said, the Israelites worship him in vain. And how do they worship Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai in vain? By not worshiping him. You know, it's really that plain. By not worshiping him in spirit and in truth, even. You know, that's how. Uh, they worship Yahweh Shem Yahshua in vain because he's not going to be with them. He's not going to protect them. He's not going to fight for them. He's not going to deliver them. He's not going to impute unto them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because they are desirous of his ways, man. They don't truly repent. You mention repentance to a Christianity church, they're going to look at you stupid and sideways. And they're not going to tell you, we don't have to do that because he died. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where is that in the Bible? It's nowhere in the Bible, man. Yet, this is what they teach. And as the Lord Yahweh said, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So that's truly what they push in those Christianity churches, man. The commandments of men. Oh, no, you don't have to repent in the name of Yahweh Shai as an Israelite, right? Because they don't even want to be called Israelites. The Israelites don't even want to be called Israelites, man. You know, it says they teach for, teach for doctrines the commandments of men. What you got to do to be saved? You better believe that Jesus is his name, that he died for your sins, and then rose on Easter, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it's just fucking folly, man. I was about to keep going with their folly. It, it's folly, man. Yet still they teach it. Yet they encourage those are the true ways of life, and they explain that that's how salvation comes. And in reality, it's the, the ways of men, the commandments of men, because they tell you, Keep paying these tithes and you're going to be delivered. You're going to be saved. Keep doing this or do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Yet still, they're not establishing the law, such as the commandments as their foundation. Clearly, they're teaching the commandments of men and not the commandments of Yehovah, Hashem, Yehovah, Shai. All right. Let's go ahead to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we're going to end on these unless the Spirit gives me something else. These, this is all I have for this uh, exhortation. It's 2 Timothy 4 and 2, or starting at verse 2. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's the commandment that Yahweh Shai has given to his disciples, who, which even later became apostles, which they even still teach to their underlings and, and their students and their followers, right? That we are to constantly preach this word, teaching, exhorting, you know, rebuking reproving correcting which is what those words go into you know that's our job so even with jake like the jake i um, i mentioned earlier from my job my job is to re rebuke reprove and correct him yet uh being wise while doing it i know it's not my not my place to to <laughs> go all out and start prophesying while i'm at at work you know that's not the place nor the time for that you know but yet and still my job is to what? Exhort, rebuke, and, and reprove. And that's what this video here is for. I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make a mental note even. This video being a testimony uh, for me. Uh, that I'm going to send Jake this video so he can watch it. So he can learn and be edified, man. This isn't a, a video to bash you or, or to drag you or slander your name. Yet and still, it is to reprove, to, to rebuke, and to correct you, man. You know, but let's get on to the point of why these things need to be done even in the first place. Second Timothy chapter four and verse three for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Right. They will no longer be hearing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai are the true names of the heavenly father and his son in the original paleo Hebrew language. Right. It said and neither will they be teaching, teaching that salvation is in no other name but those names. Neither will they be teaching the judgments for all those who seek not those names for refuge, you know? They don't teach sound doctrine. But it says, but what? Continuing on in 2 Timothy 4 and 3. But after their own lusts shall they heat to themselves teachers, having itching ears, right? And that's that Jake, man. 
Just as an example, a lot of y'all uh, f- fall underneath this category as well, just like me at a point in time, even, you know. Uh, they will heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, right? They just want to feel wise or be on a level or feel different or be different and stand out. And they claim that the Bible is the only way they can do that, which is true. Yet still, they don't do it in sincerity. They do it for a look or for a status or for money, you know, or for a woman, you know. This this is why um, (laughs) the Israelites are doing what they are doing right now here and today in the United States of America, right? It says in 2 Timothy 4 and 4, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. That's exactly what you have. You know, this is exactly, this is exactly the reason why you can have a Jake say he's been in Christianity for 20 plus years. He's currently in school getting a degree in Christianity even though he admitted he left Christianity and went back to the world, and now he's back in Christianity. And now he's going harder. With all that time, with dealing with the Bible and seeing the world for what it really is, returning to it and then leave it down again, just to come back to Christianity. Follow, hey, man, you, you got to see basically what I'm, I'm about to say. You got to see how there's no truth in, in, in any of those deeds in the world nor in Christianity. You know, you got to see that. Matter of fact, let me, let me see this. Right? I'm reading it. It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Right? So the truth is being declared out here. Right? The truth, they can't say they didn't hear the truth or the truth wasn't spoken. Why? Because the truth was being pushed and taught in and out of season. You know? Through the servants and the men of the Lord that Yahweh Shem Shah has established, set up all throughout the, the earth, man. All throughout the earth, no matter what continent you're on, the Lord has his servant there, you know, and the word is being pushed there, you know. There will not be anyone that would be able to say they had not known and had not heard. Nah, your ass just didn't believe, you know. It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, which are false stories, you know, fairy tales. You know, which is what Christianity just being the ch- one of the chiefest examples of a fairy tale, man. You got Islam and Buddhism and and, and and all type of isms right after that, man. That that are fables. And the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not dealing with them, and you need to repent. Being an Israelite, if you are, you know, an Israelite watching this video, a so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you know, if you fall underneath those categories, you need r- repent, man. Confess and admit that hey, these religions are folly and wrong, and, and then return and, and desire the true, sincere milk of the scriptures, man. Be fine with being relearned, man. You know, which is is the uh, the the process of being born again, realizing, yeah, I I started from the bottom and I'm here. We done came a long way, yet you went the wrong way, you know. You got to start over now, d- d- completely uh, demolish that and start over from scratch. Build a sure foundation, right, with the chief cornerstone. And, and then watch that building, right, watch that temple never fail, never be destroyed. Watch it uh, be tested by time and be proven, you know. That, that's all I basically wanted to say, you know. Not, I, like I said, I didn't want to make a long exhortation anyway. My video, the original I made earlier, um, it got deleted because my phone had died in the process of making it, and um, it didn't save my video once I uh, got my phone on the charger. Uh, however, yet and still, I wanted to make sure I, I did this video. The Lord put it on my heart, and um, because I, I also know I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up talking to uh, the Jake again, and so I, I wanted uh, something to to be spoken about what he said to me already. And then um, based upon how the conversation goes in the future, you know, most likely it'll prompt me to make future videos. And and, and Lord willing, they they are also edifying unto y'all in regards to this topic, man. Because you got a lot of Israelites that truly, you know, in their mind, they do things of the law, not even knowing that they're keeping the commandments. And just like on the contrary, you got a lot of Israelites who know the deeds that they're doing are not according to the law. And they prefer it, man. 
and the Lord has condemned them both. You know, the the Lord has condemned both, which is why Paul started off that chapter at Romans 10 saying what his prayer is, that Israel would be saved. And, and they are through the elect, you know, through the chosen of the nation of Israel who were able to understand the truth, you know, and they collect, they they cleaved unto it, man, you know. But yeah, with that, I mean, we're gonna, I'll wrap it up with that. Uh, I say, call Elohim la Abanawa Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachah Kodash, Wa Ababa. Till next time, Akim and Akwa, Shalom.